Hey Wildcats, I'm Ava and these are your daily announcements. First, let's hear from Dr. Burgess. Hey Wildcats, I'm Dr. Burgess and I am one of your assistant principals and I will be working with seniors this year. So we're going to have an awesome graduation and looking forward to working with all of you guys. One thing you're going to talk about today is grading and what I would like to bring out to you is that you really need to pay attention to the syllabus that your teacher gives you so that you know exactly how grading works in those classes. The grading policy remains the same as it was in the spring of last year. We are summatives, your bigger assignments like projects, essays, and tests make up 80% of your grade. Formatives, which are smaller assignments like homework and quizzes, will make up 20% of your grade. Ugh, this project is so stupid. I'm just not gonna turn it in. What should she do? Well, this year you'll get a zero, not a 45. Try again. But if I don't turn it in, I get a zero and I don't wanna fail this class. If assignments are not turned in, they are not given a 45 grade, but instead given a one till they're completed or a zero if never completed. Please check with your teacher about their late assignment policy. The DIN LHS's school store is open before school at eight, during all lunches and after school until four. You can buy snacks and drinks that you wouldn't find in the vending machine, along with shirts and sweatshirts, starting at the price of $10. They take cash, check, card, and Apple Pay. All proceeds support our special education classes. Hello, I am Tiffany Goodson, one of your assistant principals at Lexington High School. Board policies related to personal communication devices and dress code have been updated, and we want to highlight some of those changes. Regarding cell phones, while you can possess these devices at school, your devices are expected to remain silent and not visible during instructional time unless your teacher has allowed it. Your devices are not permitted to be used in locker rooms, restrooms, or other personal spaces. Your devices can be in use before and after school, during class changes, and during your assigned lunch as long as the use does not interrupt the school environment. Regarding the dress code, shorts, dresses, and skirts should be no shorter than mid-thigh. Tops must be long enough to be tucked into pants. Hey Austin. Hey, I'm sorry buddy. Policy this year is we can't have hoods on in the building. Oh, okay. Thanks for taking it off. Have a good day. Pants must be worn at the waistline. Religious clothing and headgear are permitted. Hey Austin. Oh, I like your hat, but you can't have it on in the building this year, so you gotta go ahead and take that off. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a great day. You too. All right. I'm looking forward to working with you this school year as your school testing coordinator. Have a great year, Wildcats. Students, if you're new to LHS and have not received a computer, please go to the help desk and pick up a Chromebook until your computer is ready. The help desk is located in the back of the library. Hello, I'm Bryson Williams, one of your assistant principals serving students in ninth and 10th grade with the last names beginning N through Z. And I wanna to touch base with you about attendance and tardies. The attendance policy at Lexington High School follows along the guidelines of Lexington County School District 1 in the state of South Carolina. Students in quarter classes are only permitted three unexcused absences. In a semester class, you're only permitted five unexcused absences. And in a year-long class, you're only permitted ten unexcused absences. Lawful excuses include bereavement or death in the family, medical excuses, principal approval, or school-based trips or activities. Parent notes do not count as an excuse, however, they do help in truancy because your parent is making aware that they know where you were. The TARDI policy at Lexington High School states students should be in class on time and prepared to learn. Students at Lexington High School who accrue three unexcused TARDIs will equal one unexcused absence in their class. Along with accruing an unexcused absence for three unexcused TARDIs, there are consequences including lunch detention, and or in school suspension. The tardy station is located on the main office side in the commons area. My office is located in the middle of the commons area, right beside the school resource officer. I look forward to serving you this school year and go Wildcats. Graduation will be Wednesday, May 22nd at four. That's all for today. Have a great day, Wildcats.